Welcome to Unfold Data Science friends. This is Aman here and I am a data scientist. If somebody asks me, what are the few big things that had changed in machine learning world in last few years? The first thing that comes to my mind is, machine learning from being a subject of study in universities, it has traveled to industry. Okay. So it is no more only a subject of study in universities. Now it is all over in the industry. And when something comes to the industry guys, there has to be business benefits associated with it. So if I'm putting money somewhere, I want some business benefit out of that. When I want some business benefit, then my machine learning model has to be in production. And if I want to push my machine learning model to production environment, that is where MLOps comes handy. In this video, I am going to discuss what is MLOps, how it is different from DevOps, what are the different components of MLOps, what are the complexities in MLOps, and how there is huge opportunities in this space, guys. So please be sure to watch this video till end. Let's start without any delay, guys. What is MLOps? First of all, let us try to understand what is DevOps. So DevOps is nothing but set of practices that software developers use to smoothly migrate their code from development environment to production environment. Now try to understand guys, what is the basic difference between traditional coding and machine learning? Let me give you a simple example. Let's say I want to develop an application where you can go and upload your resume and I will parse your resume and I will kind of create a tabular data from that. Just a simple example. You can upload your Word resume or PDF resume. I will just parse it, create a tabular data from it. That is one set of functionality guys, okay? So I go ahead in Python for example, I write some logics and same logic will work for all the PDF files that comes. Same logic will work for all the Word files that comes. So I take this code, I put this in production and every time a new PDF file comes, this code acts on that file and gives the output. Tomorrow, I want to add one more functionality in the same code. What I will do? I will write another set of lines on the same code. I take the updated version, push that in the server. Next time, the new functionality also shows up. But machine learning is not that simple. The reason for that is the way machine learning works there will be data and there will be a model which is trained on this data. Now, this model is supposed to do good on the new unseen data. In the fast changing world guys, data is changing very very fast. If I ask you, many things have been added in Facebook in last couple of years, okay? Which means, in Facebook user profile data, if I see 5 years back, 2 years back and now, Many new things have come. In everywhere, data is changing at a very fast pace. So what happens is, model needs to be ready to accommodate new changes in the data, which means model need to retrain, which means model need to be reusable, which means there has to be a versioning of the model. And versioning of the model is something which is not very similar to how versioning is done in typical software. Typical software will be version 1, these functionalities, version 2, these functionalities, version 3, these functionalities. But machine learning, versioning cannot be done like this. It will be, this model is trained on this data and these are the parameters. This model is trained on this data and these are the parameters. So this way versioning needs to be done. All these things that I am talking here comes under the umbrella of something known as MLOps. Now where from this name has come guys? MLOps is a combination of three things basically. One is machine learning obviously. Other is data engineering, you would have heard of that. And third is nothing but DevOps. So DevOps will have some machine learning flavor on it. And data engineering is obviously needed because that is the very very important component to create pipeline, push data, monitor the model, and maintain the model. Now this is the definition of MLOps guys. MLOps is nothing but set of practices that we do to 
deploy our model in production and monitor and maintain our model in production efficiently. What are the important components and important challenges in MLOps scenario based? I told you one challenge just now, versioning challenge, right? So it's not very similar to typical software uh, versioning. It will be a little different. Other challenge in uh, when you deploy a machine learning model in production is you have to do the data validation and model validation very, very regularly, guys. What I mean by data validation? Suppose you have trained your model on 10 columns. Your model is expecting 10 columns as input. Okay. And your model is expecting no empty values in certain columns. And what if you do not put those checks in the beginning? So you should put those checks on model and those checks on data. There should not be null values. There should not be empty values. There should, there should be this many columns. Uh, there should be data type of this column should be this data type of this column. Many types of uh, checks can be there in the beginning. So one area of MLOps is model validation, data validation. Other area of MLOps is versioning control. Like the example I gave you, model on which data is trained, the model itself, sorry, the model itself, the data on which model is trained and the model parameters. These are two important areas. Third important area is creating a pipeline guys. So not every time data scientists will be very expert in creating, you know, larger data pipelines. It's always good if you are an expert, but that is where something known as ML engineers or data engineers or a mix of ML and data engineer kind of role come handy. So you need to have a proper pipeline where data is fetched from the source system, data goes through different machine learning pipeline and you know it, it is pushed to the production server where the prediction is happening so this pipeline has to be very smooth flow has to be monitored properly logs need to be created which is what is happening in every step right that is another area next area is model monitoring and maintenance this is also very complex thing try to understand guys in typical software what will happen for example, I gave you the example of a feature of an application, right? So, a uh, few things only you need to take care of there. Some exceptions should not occur, uh, you know, some errors should not come in the code. All these things are limited kind of, limited buckets of error, I will say. But here, the buckets of errors are not limited, guys. Try to understand with few examples. Suppose you have deployed a recommendation system in the production for Amazon, just an example. Now Amazon, big billion flip card, big billion is going on, Amazon sale is going on. So let's say your recommendation engine is working on production server. Now how do you measure the goodness of your recommendation engine? There will be a totally different approach to measure the goodness of your recommendation engine. Second thing, suppose you have deployed a classification model in the production system. How do you measure the goodness of your classification model? The approach in this case will be totally different. When I ran my model on September data, my accuracy, my accuracy on the actual swear, 94%, just an example. When I ran my model on August data, my accuracy in terms of when I compare with actuals, that's why I'm talking about past data. My accuracy number was 92%. Why it was so? Why the model matrices are changing? I give a small difference. If it drops significantly, then what? So model needs to be monitored. You cannot put the model in production and wait for one error to come. Try to understand this guys. You can put your software code in the production and till it is working fine, till there is no error coming, there is no issue at all. But machine learning, you cannot put in the production and you can rest like, okay, it is in production and it is working fine. There has to be a continuous monitoring and continuous upgradation if the things are not working fine. And it is very, very practical and very, very frequent. It will happen that your model may not work the way you want it to. That is another, another thing here, guys. So you have to understand these things, how MLOps work, what are the different umbrella of work inside MLOps. And as I'm talking all these things, 
you must have got the idea that how big will be the you know space of work in mlops it's huge guys lot of things can be done in mlops from machine learning engineering side data engineering side data science side you know devops ci cd all these areas right many things can be done so in this video i wanted to give you a introduction to mlops how it is different from devops how the name is derived what are different components so that you know you i wanted to trigger a thought point for you from this video about mlops so let me know if you like this video guys let me know if you want to me to create any video on any particular topic in mlops i will do that i can also suggest you some of the very good resources on mlops let me know if you want that give me a thumbs up guys if you like this video please subscribe to the channel if you have not done yet i will see you all in the next video wherever you are stay safe and take care